Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn one more component of date picker library is called date and time picker. You see in the last two video, we have seen how we can use date picker, mobile date picker, desktop date picker, how we can use time picker, mobile time picker and desktop time picker. Now in this video, we are going to learn how we can use both date and time together like this. We have the example, how we can use these time picker, date or time picker together that we are going to learn from here. For that, what I have to do, I have to, uh, once again, I just copy this localization stack. Once again, I paste this stack. I copy this localization and a stack here and here I put this, save this and in place of uh, time picker, I say date and time picker and here I say date time value, here I say date time value. So I just create one more desktop, one more state variable, copy this, paste it. And I say here date time here also date time and and here I uh, import one more component is called date time picker and that would be from MUI X date picker and here I say date and time picker like this save this and date time we have the value here date and time is T capital like this date time picker and if you see this also we have this one select time and here I click this time is also coming together this I see this time date and time coming together and I can change it to select date and time save this you see we can select this also we have a date we have a time so like this way we can select both together by date or time picker Similarly, as we have these simple date and time picker, we have desktop and mobile date and time picker also. So I copy this, I paste it to time and here I say mobile, here I say desktop and I just import here also. So I just go there, copy, paste to time and here I say mobile, here I will say desktop, here I will say mobile, here I say desktop, save this and you see we have mobile also. So I can uh, give name to this, I say here mobile date and time picker. And I say here desktop date and time picker. Save this and you see we have this way. So here similar to this we have this date and then we have a time then we have a OK button. Here we have the similar to this we have this and we may have a time also and we have both the value. You see that all are here date picker time picker date and time picker all are working together here. In these three video, I have explained you how you can use date picker, time picker, date and time picker and all the version and variety of this with all the property like min time, max time, min date, max date and these property you can also set on date and time picker also. So like that way you can use all date picker from X date picker library that is the latest one, the advanced component those are available here on material ui website also this is a part of this library 
in next video we will also use how we can use data grid that is also advanced library and here we can show the information in a tabular form and we can apply some filter and some can say statics uh, operations also sending descending order and some other type of you can say mathematical equations we can apply on those uh, on those grid that we are going to learn in a free version of this in next video we will see how we can use this data grid also in material ui that's all in this video thank you for watching this video if you like it please do subscribe